Brando, you are here. You are a to be your teacher, and you've written a book. Can you tell us a little bit about what that book is and why you wrote it? Yeah. Well, I journaled my 12 years of teaching experience, and I thought I had a unique story to share. I have a little farmette, and my students and their parents and families come out to visit us, and I just saw morale in the state kind of going down for educators, and I thought I would share. Um, tips for parents and things like that in my book. And that's what we were talking about kind of before, Kent. You know, as oh, we're sure. going back to school here, what are some of those tips for parents to interact with teachers and keep their students on the right track? Yeah, well, it is important for them to empty their children's backpack if mm -hmm. it's younger children, especially in the elementary level. That's an important goal. And just like keeping in touch and asking their child, maybe at the dinner table, what went on at school today and, and learn more about their child's day. What do you think some of the biggest challenges are that we're facing in maybe today's schools or students are facing? Yeah, well, I think we're doing an awful lot of testing, and I taught kindergarten and preschool, so a lot of testing is going on, and it's pretty excessive. And I think some kids struggle once in a while. There's kids that struggle with behavior, and that can be a challenge for teachers in a classroom of, say, 20 kids. If you started all over again, would you do anything differently? Oh, no, I, I enjoy it. I, I made friends for life okay. through this experience. So, And we also talked a little bit beforehand. You have some advice for maybe divorced parents or children who are going through that, that kind of situation as we head back into the school year. What advice, tips do you have? There are so many people affected by divorce. Yeah, I think it's important to put your child first and go to conferences together as a team mm -hmm. and show that child that you're a team. You know, you both care about them and um, are have their best interest at heart. So. Are parents tougher to deal with than the old days? <laughs> well, they can be. There are a few that pressure the teacher and their mm -hmm. child. And I just think, you know, it's tough to be a kid today. So I think yeah. if we just back off. A lot of pressure off, is put yeah, on them to yeah. be overachievers, things like right, that. Right, right. I think some parents maybe just relax. It'll all come in time for the kids. That's going to say one word of advice you'd give to parents. Yeah. What would it be? Um, well, just be there for them. Be there at dinner. Be there to empty their backpack. Mm -hmm. Show them you love them on a daily basis. It's amazing what that conversation, the open lines of communication will do. Absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. Wonderful. And would you tell the parents that if a kid comes home and he's got a lot of writing on his arm with look like <laughs> sheet notes, it's not, maybe they're study notes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I taught the they little ones. So. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mino, don't give away your tricks. And yeah, just say it. Yeah, yeah. All right, if you would like to buy a copy of the book, Being School, just visit our website, NBC26.com. Click on the story. Thanks so much for being with us, and good luck to all the kids. Much. Head back oh, to school. Oh, can I ask a quick question? Where can you buy the book? Oh, it's at um, Schoolhouse, Bosses News. Mm -hmm. um, it's also at Reader's Loft and Saruji's, and I'll be doing a book signing. Um, next Thursday the 8th at Reader's Loft and the 14th at Saruji's in De Pere. Oh, fantastic. Sure. Awesome. Thanks so much, Rhonda.